Welcome to HSE Land, the HSE's learning management system. This short video will help you navigate the system, access self-directed learning resources, enroll on a virtual classroom and a virtual clinic. If you have used HSE Land before, you can simply sign in using your email address and password. If you are new to HSE Land, it's important that you hit the register button and register now. When you sign into HSC Land, you'll be brought, brought to the main dashboard. Here you'll find information about learning courses that you've already enrolled on, some other courses that are new to HSC Land, and other quick links and latest news. For the purpose of this video, we're going to search and navigate the Improvement in Practice program. There are two ways you can access a program in HSC Land. You can type the name of the program into the search bar, or you can navigate to the program by clicking courses from the top menu. And this will bring you to all of the catalogues within HSC Land. You can then click on the Our Learning Catalog where you'll find the Improvement in Practice program waiting to be opened. To open the program, simply click on the title of the program. And here you will see that there are seven modules in the Improvement in Practice program for you to complete. A good place to start is always with the Introduction or Welcome module. So to open this module, simply click on the title. When you open the module, you'll see some information about the Improvement in Practice program. And you'll see that there are three items in this module that need to be completed. But the first thing you need to do is enroll on the module. And you can do this by clicking the Enroll button. You'll be then asked to confirm your enrollment, which you can do by clicking on Confirm Enrollment. And you will receive an email to your inbox confirming that you have done this. Once your enrollment is successful, you'll be asked to go to the Knowledge Centre. The Knowledge Centre is just the repository within HSC Land where all of the resources are kept. So when you enter the Knowledge Centre for this first module, you'll see that there are three items to be completed. The first is a welcome video. The second is a project storyboard, which is a PowerPoint file that you need to download because you'll need to complete this as part of your program. And the third item is a pre-learning assessment. So in order to view the, the welcome video, simply click on it. In order to download the project storyboard, again, simply click on that. And you might think nothing is happening, but if you look to the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you'll see that the file has actually opened up here in PowerPoint. So you can click on that file and actually it'll open in PowerPoint and you can then save it to your desktop. Likewise, to access the pre-learning assessment, you click on that and it will open up the assessment for you in a new window. So there are the three items that you need to complete in the welcome introduction model, module. Once you have completed the introduction module, you can move on to module one, getting started. Again, just click on the module title and it will ask you if you want to enroll on this module. You'll notice that here you've got um, some prerequisites that are required before you can proceed with this module. So we can see that the Foundation and Quality Improvement, which is a three hour e-learning program already hosted on HSC, HSC Land, is a prerequisite. If you had completed this program in the past, the system will recognize that and allow you to proceed. If you haven't, you can click on this link and it'll bring you directly to the program. The way the improvement, in the improvement in Practice modules are set up is that each one is a prerequisite of the following one. So for example, in order to start module one, getting started, you will have had to have done the intro and welcome module. In order to complete module two, you would need to have completed module one and so on. So let's start this module by clicking the enroll button. Now, if 
you get this error message up that tells you enrollment has failed, it means that you have not completed some something that has been assigned as a prerequisite. So in this case, it's the IIP intro welcome module, and you simply click on this link and it'll bring you back to the module and you can complete whatever part of the module um, you need to complete. So once you have completed whatever it was you needed to complete, you can go back in and try and enroll again. And this time it's now telling me to confirm my enrollment. And now my enrollment is successful and I can go ahead to the Knowledge Centre. Now, when you enroll into module one, you can see that all the modules actually in HSC land um, are set up the same way. So here you've got some information about the aim of the module. You can see who your instructors are going to be. And here you've got some required modules. So you'll know that there is um, an e-learning program called Working as a Team for Improvement that needs to be um, completed as part of this module. You can see over here to the right hand side, it tells me that I haven't started this yet. And to launch it, all I need to do is hit the green button and it'll bring me directly to that module in HSC land. The second part um, to note is that the Getting Started Self-Directed Learning um, is sitting in the, the Knowledge Centre and there are five references um, or, or parts of that self-directed learning. And again, I can see here that I haven't started it. Down further, you'll see some resources called key reading resources. Now, these are optional um, extended learning resources that we provide for anybody who wants to learn a bit more about a particular um, topic. So um, they're there for anybody who wants to, uh, but they're not a mandatory part of the program. Just some other things to draw your attention to. Um, you can also access those extended learning resources by clicking on key reading resources. You can also access an area called the file share area. Now, this will be an area that you will have to use as part of the program when your facilitators ask you to upload your storyboard. And it's really simply simple to do that. You click the upload button and it'll bring you to the file manager on your computer. And there you can select your storyboard PowerPoint file and upload it. And it'll appear here in the file share area. And that will be available for your instructors and also your, your fellow learners to view. You can contact the instructors here um, by sending them an email. However, um, you're probably better doing that through MS Outlook. So let's go back to our overview. And the first thing you need to do with any module is to complete all of the self-directed learning. So you can go in and do the Working as a Team for Improvement program, which will take you about 30 minutes. And then you can go into the Knowledge Center here in the Get Started Self-Directed Learning. And here I can see that there are a number of videos that I need to watch. There is a module one participant self-reflective journal that I need to complete. And your program facilitators will talk you through that. And there's also a link to the National Quality and Patient Safety Directorate website, which might be useful for you to look at. So once you have completed all of the mandatory parts of the module, it's really important that you mark them as completed, because if you don't do that, you won't be able to access the virtual classroom. So again, have a look at all of the videos, um, have a look at the website, and then click mark as completed. When you have completed all aspects of the self-directed learning, or if there was a, a mini program like the Working as a Team for Improvement module, you will notice now that the Getting Started Classroom has become available to you so that you can enroll on it. So to enroll in the classroom se session, simply click the Enroll button. And when you click the Enroll button, the available dates um, for the classroom will be available to you. 
You can click the down arrow to see what dates are available. In this case, there's just one. So we're going to select that and hit the green set button. It's asking us, do we want to set the selected session for this module? And we're going to say, okay. When you say OK and you set a particular date for your virtual classroom, you'll receive an email into your inbox giving you details about the virtual classroom and also the link to access the MS Teams virtual classroom link. You can also click on this little calendar icon, icon and set the virtual classroom date into your iCalendar. If there was a project clinic assigned to this module, that would appear here in the same way as the virtual classroom. And you would click on that link in the, the very same way. So to recap, all modules will be set up the same way. You'll have information about the module itself and the instructors or facilitators. If there was a prerequisite to a module, it would appear here and you would have to complete it. Each module will have some self-directed learning uh, resources to be completed. And always remember to mark as complete when you've done that. And once you've done that, the, the classroom associated with your module will appear and you'll be able to enroll on that. If you have any problems accessing or navigating this learning management system, please contact your facilitators or you can contact the QPS education team at qps.education at hsc.ie.